Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am here to tell you today is, I think, Sunday. I don't care. It's 8.35 in the morning, Central Standard Time. I'll tell you that. I am here because this is war. I have been talking to the Lord about how powerless too many Christians are. Now, I know some of you know to anoint your homes with oil. Some of you know how to plead the blood of Jesus over all your stuff. And some of you just know everything I'm about to say. But there's too many who don't. So, I am going to tell you how to protect yourselves, your belongings, your babies, and how to fight the devil and his minions. Okay? So, you can listen to it over and over, or you can pause and get a tablet and take note. And I have prayed that the Father would let the Holy Spirit speak through me and tell me anything that I haven't already thought of. And I will find the scriptures and put them in the description box later. All right. This is war. The devil is out to steal your joy. We know that the Bible says the devil is like a roaring lion roaming about seeking whom he may devour. He wants your soul but he knows if you're one of God's chosen children because you have chosen him you see many are called but few are chosen if you have proven yourself to love him you love him and you're making sacrifices for him. You're putting to death your flesh daily. You're one of his. All right. All Satan can do to you is aggravate you. He can attack you, try to make you miserable, try to make you look like a hypocritical Christian so others don't, you know, want to have anything to do with you because you had an explosion okay that's one kind okay now let's go to the ones who aren't fully there yet they've received the gospel message they said yes lord i want to be saved but they haven't quite fully committed satan is doing everything in his power to keep you from making that full-on commitment he is doing everything in his power to pull you away from the kingdom of God he does not want you to cross that line you are what's called the lukewarm Christians and I don't know if any of y'all will ever see this because so many of them refuse to learn you refuse to those of you who will watch it breaks my heart and I'm just gonna say right now Heavenly Father I pray you send warrior angels to these people that we love the ones, all my subscribers are saying, oh, pray for my kids, pray for my husband, pray for my father, because they're not ready. I am asking you to send warrior angels to pull those demons away. I am asking you, I'm asking you, Father, to free up their minds so that they would accept watching 
a video or hearing their loved one tell them once again, Dad, let me tell you about what I've learned. Whatever. Ask the Holy Spirit what you should do. Trust. Maybe now. And you've got to pray it too. See, you all have to understand this. If you're born again and you've got the Holy Spirit in you, maybe not full, but he's in you. And you're asking Jesus, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Fill me full. You have a direct connection with the Father. Okay? And with Jesus through the Holy Spirit. It's like, it's like Abba Father and Jesus is, is a cell phone company. Let's just simplify it. Real simple. Okay. The Holy Spirit in you is your cell phone. You've been given a cell phone. All right? And the Holy Spirit power between you and heaven is the service that's been cut on. It's been cut on. Because of your faith. Do you believe you have this connection? Do you believe your prayers are heard? I think you probably do. But maybe you think, well, he doesn't he, he doesn't answer my prayers like he answers hers, or he don't he you know, she's better he's better than I am. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I try my very best to be the kind of person I should be. And I pray I'm making the mark. And I may miss it now and then. But you have the same connection. If you are born again and have asked the Holy Spirit into your heart, by commitment. You have the same cell phone service that I have. All right. Realize it, claim it, and use it. Start connecting. Hey, hey, Abba. On your knees, on your face. If you can take five minutes on your face before the Lord. I mean, that is so powerful because that is like them turning you up from, and I don't know the numbers, but I'm going to make something up. Let's say normally we have a one gigabyte service and it's like cutting your service up to 10 gigabytes. Okay, see, seriously, I don't know what that number is supposed to, that word should be, but it means more power. Okay, maybe that'll help you all understand. Now, when you fast for a day and you get down on your face, you're cutting that power up even more. You're it. The Lord honors that. All right? He recognizes that sacrifice and that humility of either getting on your knees or getting on your face. Do you realize how laying down on your floor, on your face, is the lowest place you can get? It is the most humble place humbling of actions okay and Abba loves it he loves it 
I want you, all of you, to start writing down your prayers, okay? However you want to do it. Salvations, health issues, financial issues, however you want to do it. Make your own cards, make your own lists. Okay. And don't forget to include yourself. If you haven't yet gotten the gift of praying in the Spirit, make sure that's on there. I would put it at the top because then all the prayers you pray for the others are more powerful. You still pray in English. Paul says, I pray in the Spirit and I pray with my mind. I sing, I think he said, I sing or worship in the Spirit, and I sing or worship with my mind. I'll have to look that up, and I'll put that one in the description box. So you can read the full passage, you know, to get the full, whoops, oh, <laughs> I made my face disappear. Um, so you can get the full understanding what Paul is teaching there. You want that power. I'm telling you. Now I'm going to tell you something that I've been praying lately over my body. Alright. It's one thing to say, Oh Lord, please bless me with your healing hand. I know you are the great healer. Please heal me. Please help me. Um, take away this whatever pain in Jesus name I pray okay he hears that he adds that to his prayers he knows already you need that but he appreciates you saying that now imagine saying this this is what I've been doing lately oh heavenly father I plead the blood of Jesus over my body I plead the blood of Jesus from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. I plead your very blood over my own blood. Please, Lord, let your very blood pump through my bloodstream as my heart contracts. Pum, 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 pum. Let your blood be pumped right through my circulatory system let your blood be pumped into every vein and every artery in my body so it will be going throughout my brain and throughout my lungs and throughout every organ throughout my limbs all the way to the tips of my fingers oh lord i pray you let your healing precious blood flow throughout my body I thank you in advance for the healing this will bring me in Jesus name I pray that amen now I don't know I think Holy Spirit must have given me that idea. I've never prayed that way before until lately. Must have wanted me to teach you that. And yeah, I may not all I may not get all completely well until I get to heaven or till the transformation, but it's going to give me strength. I know it will. The body, the blood of Jesus is powerful the declaring out of your mouth of I know this will heal me I know your blood is powerful that's showing your faith that's showing him you know what his blood can do oh my goodness Imagine if every Christian on the planet would just get it and realize 
there's power in the name of Jesus to say, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. I rebuke you, Satan, get thee behind me in Jesus' name, for it is written, Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. You have no place here. You are not welcome here. Now get out in Jesus' name. And thank the Father. If you need to, ask for warrior angels to come. Ask him. Ask him. Ask Abba Father and Jesus to send you help. And believe they will. Thank them in advance. We need a platoon of prayers going up and angels amongst us. I want you all to pray for hedges of protection around your dwellings. Wherever you live, I don't care if you live in a cardboard box and somehow you manage to get on YouTube on a, on a smartphone or something. You pray. You plead the blood of Jesus over your dwelling, inside of it, outside of it. Every square inch. Include everything in it and everything you own out of it. You don't want Satan getting his hands on one single thing. You plead that blood of Jesus from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. You tell him, Lord, I want plead the blood of Jesus over my helmet of salvation and over my breastplate of righteousness. I plead your precious blood over my girdle of truth and my shoes of peace. I take up my shield of faith so I can extinguish the fiery darts of the enemy. And I will take up my sword, which is the very word of God, quick to divide lies from the truth. Oh, Father, give me more discernment to divide lies from truth. Give me more supernatural understanding of your word and go on in Ephesians chapter 6 and say I will stand ready to do battle in the day of evil and I will pray in the spirit all day frequently in all manners of prayer and petition for all the saints, you don't know who all the saints are. You might think so-and-so is a saint and they're not. You might think so-and-so is not a saint and they are. We don't know. Jesus is the judge. So how are you going to pray for all the saints when you don't know who they are? Except in the spirit. I hope you're getting this. This is getting to be on to 20 minutes. I'm trying to help you. We're in the end days. You need all the weaponry you can get. You need the blood of Jesus. You need it pumping through your own heart. You need to plead it over your bodies. You need to plead it over your children and spouses, over your homes, down the walls, windows, doors, ceilings, floors, and everything in it, especially your computers or tablets or cell phones, whatever you get on here with, and outside, walls, windows, doors, rooftops, your property, your property. I have a feeling 
people who plead the blood on their property, if there is a fire, their property won't be harmed. I'm just, I feel that. There is power in the blood, and there's power in the name of Jesus, and there's power in his word. Learn it and use it. All right, I plead the blood over this video, the internet connection, and over each and every one of you. And I'm praying for you. And now let us all start praying together like that. You can do it while you're cooking dinner. You can do it while... You're taking a break from studying. You can do it while you're bathing. It's okay. Yeah, it is. You can talk to the Lord anytime. I mean, any time. Okay? All right. Bye bye for now.